Hello, welcome to Revelator Alf. So in this video, I'm talking about what is the best Harley Davidson? You wanna know more? Catch you inside. Revelator Alf. Hello, welcome to Revelator Alf, the channel about motorcycle riding, biking interests, uh, and motorcycles of all types and descriptions. Uh, so in this video, I'm talking about, or I'm asking, what is the best Harley Davidson on the market, and which is the best one really for 2019? Well, let's have a discussion. So here on Revelator Alf, I talk about bikes and biking interests and doing other stuff, whether on or off a bike. Uh, so if you like the videos, please give them a thumbs up, leave loads of comments below, uh, subscribe, hit that notifications bell down there or down there, I don't know, whichever one. And uh, well, let's get right into it then, shall we? Okay, so I've been thinking about getting a Harley Davidson for a few years now, so I'm currently riding a Triumph Explorer. Uh, XCA sort of 12, 15 cc, it's a 2017 model. Um, I've got that for about uh, another year or so, something like that. Um, but I'm already thinking ahead and thinking what sh can I get, potentially get. So I might change it earlier or I might wait the full three years uh, when my deal uh, runs out. Now, the thing is, I, I had the Triumph because I, I really love adventure riding and love going off road and everything. But what I found, with the kind of level which I'm riding at, uh, I'm sort of going into areas that really are too heavy, or the bike is too heavy, it's too cumbersome to, to get onto there, uh, to get through. And uh, what I'm finding that actually, I'm not really making the really long distances uh, where I thought I would be riding at one point. A lot of it is sort of local within day's ride. So actually, the, something like a Harley would be fantastic for me in, in that respect. I love that kind of cruiser look. I've built bikes, you know, sort of choppers in the past. I love bikes that, you know, it makes people turn their heads as well. So I, I love all that kind of thing. And I do like that sort of customization feel um, where you can sort of customize bikes as well. So I do love that. I've never really been a Harley fan, but there are certain uh, models which I do particularly like. So that's where I was, as my thinking. The thinking is, well, actually I can use another bike to go and do my off-roading, uh, which would be a lot lighter, and then get you know this uh, great Harley, um, which I think uh, would be great for me to go get out there. So, comes back to the original question, what is the best Harley to get? What do you think is the best Harley? Leave your comments below. I know this is a purely subjective thing. This is really down to your personal preferences. But what kind of Harley is the best Harley for you? Let's say for a younger person, a middle-aged person, or an older person. Uh, is there a difference between a man or a woman? Um, you know, does that make a difference? I personally don't. I think it would just come to, you know, you either like what you like, and simple as that. Um, you know, are you going for the, the big, you know, huge Taurus, you know, the CVOs, uh, or are you going for something a little bit less, uh, a little, 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 little less grandiose, let's say. Uh, now, personally, my preference uh, has been the Street Bob. I've loved that bike for a long, long time. I've test ridden it a few times. And I think it's a fantastic bike. Um, I love the way it rides, you know, it's, yes, Harley Davidson gear changing is clunky, uh, braking is not the best, um, but in terms of actual riding, that's a really nice flowing bike. It's got lots of balance, which I really like. So I kind of, I kind of like it. I kind of like um, that bike. I've ridden a few others. I've ridden the Fat Bob. Didn't like that. Don't particularly like the look of it either. Uh, the um, what else did I write? The S. Now what was it called? Uh, not the custom S, not the V-Rod, V-Rod I don't like at all. Um, anyway, so there's a few others. I like a bike that is, I love the way that Harley have kind of tuned into my sort of preferences as well the last few years and going for this black, you know, I, I, th I don't know if it was an influence by Exile Cycles in the, in the US, they're always producing black custom bikes. But I just like black as a, as a color. It's my favorite color. Um, I love black on bikes, and you know, more black and less chrome the better for me. Just I'm not really into chrome. So if you've got all those Harleys that are full of chrome, those are the ones that I don't particularly like. 
whilst they might be great bikes or they might be great riding bikes or whatever not 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 for me so last year um check out my other video i'll put the video description of there but i went out on a on a uh, american harley american police harley bike experience then i rode it all for half a day took a long video of it and helped the company put out you know a promotional video for uh, for for them as well uh, but I love that Harley. I think it was great. It was a great bike. Was so comfortable. It was like sitting in an armchair. You know, please, Harley. Um, uh, what, how old was it? I think it was, was it for 10, 10 years old or something. Anyway, it was, it was a great bike. Really good. This guy imported them from the US. Uh, American Motorcycle Experience, I think they're called. Anyway, so go check them out because they're really cool. If you're in the UK, that is. So that got me thinking again. And you know, when I do change it up, I probably will go for a Harley, but I'm still debating which one to go for. Um, I know there are other models, but I do like this transition that a lot of the models are going for this all black. I like the instrumentation that is, is morphing as well, it's developing. So I, I do like the Harley, some of the Harley models are, are great. They look great. Now it comes down to practicality, okay? Is it really going to be practical for me to be riding a Harley Davidson or you or, or anybody? Well, right now, you know, I ride with sometimes I ride with side boxes, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I, I always ride with a top box. I, you know, I tend not to put anything on my like a rucksack on my um, shoulders. I'm always carrying things to and fro from work. So I kind of think, well, I carry my cameras and everything like that. But then I'm thinking, well, actually, do I need to travel so heavy? Can I travel a lot lighter? Can I put something in a rucksack on my back and just, you know, go away? Or should I have little, you know, saddlebags, you know, that kind of thing? Then I look at security of the stuff that's in the bags. You know, I might go away somewhere, you know, and it's really great to be able to lock up, lock up everything, put it in the side boxes, you know, or the, the top box and just walk off and come back, you know. So there's lots of pros to the bike that I've got now for just general riding, but it, but it doesn't have that wow factor, that, that's for sure. So I think that's something I'm gonna have to really debate on, whether, you know, have something. I don't wanna go for a bagger. I really don't wanna go for a bagger. Don't, no, they're not really my thing, but the, from a practicality point of view, that's fantastic, because you can put loads of stuff in there. So I'm not really sure, I'm not sure about that sort of aspect to it at all but um certainly i think you know i'm going to revisit the harley and see what you think i mean you know i've always loved the sportster i've always you know the different variations different incarnations of the sportster i've always loved that as a bike if i was a smaller guy i'd probably definitely go for it the street bob as i say i really like the fat bulb i kind of liked in places but then recently i haven't really been turned on by it uh, oh, the Lowrider S, that was it. Yeah, that was pretty cool as well. But some of the colours on those I'm not, not too keen on. Uh, and then all the others, I'm not 100% sure whether I like them or not. So my my appreciation of Harley is, is quite limited, I, I've got to say. I think they've got a great lifestyle brand. I think people who are into the Harley, they have a great social group as well. Uh, I'm not necessarily looking for that myself, but you know, it's there, it's there to be held more so than any other brand. Uh, I certainly won't be riding around with uh, Harley Davidson clothing or anything like that because that's just not my style. Um, <clears throat> but in terms of the actual bike, the riding position, the way, and especially from this, from the spring to the autumn, you know, some warm air, you know, riding in some warm air, that would be really cool, I think. So, you know, what is the best Harley Davidson? What is it? For me, I think it'd still be the Street Bob. I'm just gonna have a look at look at the others. But do you know what? I'm also looking at other manufacturers as well now. If I'm gonna go into this sort of sporty cruiser type, uh, not sporty, but sports cruisery, which I class the Street Bob as, as opposed to real proper cruiser, you know, big tourer. So I think. I've been looking at Indian, I've got to say, and some of those bikes I really like. I think they're, you know, and some of them, they've taken a lot of influence in off the uh, the Victory bikes, which sort of closed down, which Polaris closed down as well. So I, I, I kind of like those. I'm looking at the Jap some of the Japanese uh, cruisers, but yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not too keen on those, I've got to say. Some all right, but some I'm not, I'm not so sure. 
Um, but I think, you know, Harley, I think that's where I'll be looking at going. Anyway, let, you know, let me know what you think. What do you think is, um, you know, the best Harley? What What is it? What What makes the best Harley? You know, is it a stock bike? Uh, a standard biker the way to go uh, we all know that you buy a Harley then you end up customizing it to make it your own pretty quick um, so that's where I think I probably will that's why I like Harley so much right now because they're starting to make bikes stock bikes that actually you know black pipes black exhaust black every black engine casings black bars all that kind of stuff which is kind of my style which I kind of like a mixture of sort of that shiny black, vivid black, and matte black, you know, tones as well. So I don't think they need a lot of customising, really. Uh, so that's good for the pocket as well. Yeah, I know Harley are in a bit of trouble right now, but, you know, that brand's going to live on for a long, long time. Those bikes are going to live on for a long, long time as well. And the kind of mileage which I'm doing, you know, <clears throat> I think on a general basis, you know, um, it, it, it would work well for me because I could use the other bike for them off road with sort of fun adventures as well. Um, I don't know, I don't know. But as I say, you know, it, it is a subjective thing. It really depends, um, you know, do I really want to have a bike that is going to be practical? You know, is it going to be practical enough for me? Um, you know, I don't really want to be washing it every day and all that sort of stuff. Um, so I think you know I have to look at what kind of protection I could put on it so I don't have to worry about that so much um, but you know is it going to be practical in terms of all the stuff that I can carry on it um, you know riding pleasure you know is that going to be good enough for me so all these things I'm going to be looking at but so you know I'll open up to you as I said you know leave lots of comments below let me know what you think is the best Harley and Okay, I know lots of people you're gonna watch and this are gonna say, Harley's a crap, they're rubbish. Okay, so if you're gonna write those comments, I know what you mean, um, but you know, if you like Harley, let's put it that way, let me know what you think uh, is the best one. Uh, or if you like me, you don't really like most Harleys, you just only like specific ones, tell me what you think, wh which ones you particularly like and why, that's the most important thing. You know, what is it? what is it is it about the ride the actual physical ride is it about the, the 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 way it looks i mean for a harley for me yeah it is part the way it looks of course um but it's mostly about the ride bikes for me have always been about the ride um and out of all the harleys that i've i've ridden that street bob is the best riding one it is most like another type of bike um, that I would tend to go for so that's why you know for me it's both the look the aesthetics but it's mostly about the ride as well so what is it for you guys you know is it about the ride is it about the way they look is it about the whole is it not really about the bike at all you know is it about the Harley brand is it about the community you know the you know the clubs or the you know the Harley owners group or, or, or whatever it is you know all that the whole you know, groups or whatever um, you know is it all about that is it about the scene yeah is it about the harley scene i don't know i mean for me it wouldn't be that wouldn't be a factor uh say so, because i'm not really into that kind of thing i just love my bikes so i don't know i don't know anyway so i think i'll be making a decision pretty soon uh, i'm gonna uh, sort of wait next couple of months and go visit a couple of local dealers and see what i think. i might even make a few videos as well taking them out on test rides and uh, see if I can uh, speak with the dealership and let them know exactly what I want to do and uh, obviously give them a bit of uh, advertising as well so that might work as well for them so but if I can get a you know a bit of a riding experience out of it and share it with you guys that'd be really cool I think um, but I don't know as I say let me know what you think let me know which is your favorite Harley or you wouldn't touch it with a 10 foot barge bowl I don't know um, I was saying maybe it's an age thing a lot of people say this for older people I don't necessarily agree I think it's I think what a lot of people are put off by is that it doesn't resonate with younger people and also they are quite expensive for what they are relative to other bikes that other people might buy but then again lots of new bikes are really expensive these days you're looking at about twelve thousand pounds for a brand new street bob ish something like that you know for a brand new sports bike um you're looking at about the same sort of price really 
maybe even more you know so they're, they're comparable now in price um, but anyway let's see let's see what happens right hope you enjoyed the video I uh, hope you all enjoyed in this uh, this discussion it's not really about me telling you which is the best uh, Harley Davidson or best Harley bike for 2019 this is about you and me you and me uh, saying which is the best Harley Davidson uh, to ride let me know let me know what you think please leave loads of comments uh please subscribe to the channel uh, give it a thumbs up if you really like and i'll catch you on the next video whenever that is i might even be riding a harley see you then